Okay, I have a list of things that I need to tell you about my wings. Where are they? All right, there's a lot of stuff. So as you can see, it's covered. This one is also stitched. So it just needs finish tapes, which we're gonna get to at some point in time, but that's down the road. Let's see, there's a few things that you need to know about the wings before you cover them. And this is just sort of applies in general to anything that you're covering. Um, let me go to the, the other end and show you what I'm starting out with. I had a moral debate with my uncle and of course also John McBean as to whether or not I should wrap this all the way over or just tuck it around the top or just terminate the end of the fabric. This is the STI wing, which the fabric instructions are for a standard wing. So they kind of leave you to uh, do some guessing on your own. Boy, that's, that's why it has a safety pin in there. Um, this wooden filler rib, uh, what the factory does is they typically bring the fabric, from what I understand, they bring the fabric all the way down to the end here as, you, as I have done and then run it smooth. It's very, very difficult to get all the wrinkles out of the front. It's doable with time. My wrist hurts from ironing so much, but um, with an iron and some patience, anything can be done with polyfiber. So I ended up deciding to do this wrap. You could in theory tent it by going all the way over and then binding it to the inside. This would be less strong and it would kind of look weird, but whatever. If you want to do that, you do that. And before I did this, I wish I had done a little better job at body working all this stuff because the whole surface had some high saw on it and it's gonna leave some bumps that are gonna show up. Not the end of the world, but somebody might comment. Same thing with the PVC extrusions. Um, they could have been body worked a little better so that they can be painted later on down the road and they'll look really nice because they don't get any fabric on them. But this is something that should be done. I, sh I should have thought about ahead of time and done a little more, spend a little more time to body work all that sort of junk out, put a nice fillet in there so I have something to end up on. Right, I already talked about this in the fuselage, but the Kit Fox kits only come with black pitot tubing. Let's go look at this. Okay, so you can see this nicely tucked in here is black, only black, to pitot tubes. So that's pitot and AOA because I have a Garmin pitot tube. If you're just gonna do the normal pitot tube, it doesn't matter, just run a black one. And if you don't have static port, it doesn't matter either. But if you order their kits, they all come with black tubing. I would have preferred to have color tubing, but I already had the tubing and I said, I'm gonna suck it up and I'm gonna use the black stuff. So what I did to label it is on here, I put pedo and AOA, that's printable heat shrink. So it's just heat shrink that you can put in a, I think it's a Dymo label printer and you just type pedo and AOA. I put it there, I put it on the ends and I put it on the other ends that are way in there. Yes, I am my own cameraman. So, this I had originally out, but it was flopping all over the place in the rotisserie. So I decided that I would just sort of spend the time to coil it up and put it in there and it got it out of my way. Pito is pretty easy to run. I ended up cutting the pito tube down. The, the Garmin pito tube comes with a really long aluminum top and the instructions don't tell you how long it has to be, but I ended up cutting it down to like six inches and then curving it as a straight U backwards so that it slides through the pito slot and comes back and hooks and then all my pedo plumbing hooks onto it on the back directly. It's actually like that. And uh, the little yellow tubing, there's a little yellow tubing that goes over the black tubing that sort of allows you to slip over the aluminum. It's like a yellow sleeve that I have sort of poking out about five inches below the end of the pedo tube mast so that when I pull the pedo tube out, those will be poking down and when I put the pitot tube in, I can connect it and then slide it in and it sort of just pops back into the wing. So yeah, it's a, I was waiting for something. I don't know why it took me so long to do that, but I eventually put the pitot in and then here's the left wing, it's covered. Look at that. Okay, so the stitching template. I made a stitching template, well, my uncle made a stitching template that was supposed to account for all the structures on the inside. It didn't. So we ended up hitting the spar here. Uh, oh, we can see that. See, this is why you make a stitching template because you see that, that little piece of fabric there. You see how it doesn't go straight through? It actually hits the spar. Not the end of the world. It is gonna put some side load on the fabric and potentially tear it, but it's, it's strong enough. I, I, you know, you just don't wrench down on it. It doesn't put any side load, side load on. But that's why you make a stitching template so that 
you can effectively, we could have moved that up just a tiny bit and avoided that problem. We just kind of stuck with it and found a way to stitch around it. Stitching is a real pain to learn initially, but then once you get in the groove, it's not that bad. And you just sort of take some time. I thought you had to have two people to do it to make it efficient, but I'm actually more efficient probably doing it myself. But that's just me. We're not gonna talk about stitching right now. We're gonna talk about and focus on the other things that I did with the wing before I get to that. In terms of some of the things that I had to think about when I was covering, the Laker leading edge is not really, actually it's not addressed at all in the covering instructions. Remember, the covering instructions are just for a standard wing. And this is not a standard wing, this is both an STI wing and it has a Laker leading edge. And those things introduce some confusion about how to cover the plane. So I just actually got off the phone with Consolidated Aircraft Coatings or Polyfiber on how to cover this leading edge, which I wish I would have done correctly from the start, but now I'm sort of chasing my tail trying to fix it. What they say to do, and this is also what the factory says to do, which Project Kit, Fit, Kit Fox learned from them, is you're supposed to, you're always supposed to cover the bottom first. What you can do, instead of gluing the bottom fabric on the leading edge to this front here, you basically wrap the bottom fabric from the leading edge, the top of the Laker leading edge. So this, this trailing edge of the Laker leading edge, I know that's a mouthful, but you glue it to the trailing edge of the Laker leading edge. In fact, you could probably bring it all the way, no, it'd have to be to the trailing edge of the Laker leading edge, and then wrap it all the way around the bottom back to the trailing edge. The reason why you do that is because you need two layers of fabric anywhere there's a hard surface underneath the fabric. So that would include cap strips, fiberglass, uh, anywhere there's like a big, like pedal plate, all those things need two layers of fabric. The only other way to get two layers of fa fabric on this are to do what I did, which also Project Kit Fox did, which is a huge pain in the butt, wouldn't do it. So just do it right. If you have a leading edge like this, make sure you wrap the bottom all the way around. And then when the top goes on, you already have a second layer of fabric and you would just, I guess, slap a finish tape on the front of the wing. Um, just for reinforcement, but I don't even think you'd need to because you'd have your two layers of fabric. You wouldn't then need a finish tape over this seam. Nope, you wouldn't even need a finish tape there. I don't know, that's as far as I got, but call Consolidated Aircraft Coatings. They can answer all your questions, very knowledgeable people. Definitely don't follow the instructions though for covering the Laker leading edge because it will throw you off and give you more work down the, down the line. Here's the bottom of the wing. There's my pitot tube mass. I, had it in there so that um, when I'm, I basically I cover the bottom, then burn these holes out, including the pitot hole, and then put the pitot in, and then cover the top. And that way I don't have to cut this inspection plate out until, um, I, in theory I don't even have to, until I actually need to get in there. Um, but that, that gets my pitot in there so that it's out of the way. The pedo holes that they send you, because the pedo was powder coated for the pedo mast, um, because it was powder coated, you have to re-tap them. Like they desperately need re-tapping because you can't even get a screw in there. I actually stripped a couple of screws, screws doing it. So definitely you wanna, anytime something gets powder coated and has threading, run a tap through it because you won't be able to get a, uh, a screw through it later on. And I don't wanna tap it when there's fabric because then there's gonna be crap in the wing. It'll never get out. So. Polyfiber says that if it's not protruding more than two inches, then you don't cut the holes until after the fabric goes on. So these are not more than two inches. So you lay the fabric over this stuff. Then what I did was I shrunk it to 250. I didn't do this on the right wing, I did it on the left wing. I shrink everything down to 250 so it's tight. And then I cut the holes for the actual spar cutouts. It's a patch. I ended up poking a hole that I didn't want to. It happens. Polyfiber says that um, if it's under a certain size, you don't actually have to do anything about it. Considering that I have drain holes in the other wings, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I could have just sort of melted it out, but I just wanted to be diligent and put a patch on there. So the way that you patch is you just paint Polytech on, throw a patch on, and then if it's big enough, you can shrink it back. This is for like big patches. You can actually shrink the fabric back together using the Polytech patch as like a pulling surface. I could have just put, knowing now if it's under three eighths of an inch, is, I just talked to Polyfiber about this, you could have just put a finish tape over this. And there actually is a finish tape going over this for the spar, 
So I would have been fine, but that's got an extra patch on there just, just for funsies. Okay. Once you get, I don't even know if I want to talk about this. We're gonna have to make this into a whole nother video. We're gonna make this into another video because we've got a lot done. So watch the next one if you're interested.